tonight of presidential candidate Fred Thompson getting a jolt of caffeine down there in Little Havana in Miami, trying to score some points with the Cuban community down there. Thompson's toured Iowa, South Carolina, and Florida since he announced his candidacy. Tomorrow, Lawrenceburg welcomes home Thompson. News 2's Chris Bungard has more. For much of the year, Fred Thompson has been all over the country testing the waters about a presidential bid. Now that test is over, but all the travels never took him back to his Tennessee hometown until this weekend. Tomorrow is, in my opinion, one of the biggest days in the history of Lawrence County. The area's favorite son, the former senator and actor, takes center stage right in the middle of Lawrenceburg's spruced up town square. I think the local uh, Republican Party bought a new flag for the occasion. But flag waving will be just a small part of the festivities. The local chamber wants Lawrenceburg to look its best. Well, of course, we have spruced up because we are expecting uh, Senator Thompson and a lot of out-of-town guests. So there's just been a number of things that we want to look nice for, for anyone that might be coming into town. The local Republican Party is selling any kind of Fred souvenir it can think of. And more than a few townsfolk claim kinship. First of all, I'm blood kin to Fred Thompson. I don't know that he knows that, but our great-great-grandpas were the same person. No doubt Ken Johns will tell that to the candidate if he can get close to him. Fred Thompson may only be around for an hour or so in his old hometown. Uh, I'm scared of for Fred Thompson. Why? Because uh, he's coming here in a while. And Ian Coltis may be a little young to cast a ballot, but he's already a Fred head, much like everyone else in the town where Fred Thompson was raised. Chris Bungard, News 2.